developed from the time it is laid to the time it hatches, from a single cell to a chick in just 21 days. Over the next 21 days, you and your students will attempt to help single-celled eggs develop into budding chicks. Let the journey begin! One of the most important factors is where you place your incubator. Make sure it is placed on a level surface away from drafts, furnaces, air conditioners, and direct sunlight. These factors cause problems in keeping the temperature constant. Now that you've found a place, let's get to know the parts of the incubator. The base unit, the screen, the turning ring, the wick, the wet bulb, the dry bulb, their water fountain, the dome, the turner. Before the screen and the turning ring are positioned on the base, these two parts should be held together with the wick through the center hole in the screen and pulled out full length below. With the screen and turning ring against each other and the wick dangling below, place the assembly on the base with the wick extending toward the water fountain socket and laying through the two slots in the water segments of the base. The wick must extend in the base toward the fountain in order for it to be wet immediately when water is introduced into the first segment adjacent to the fountain. Make sure the screen is set into the tabs on the base. These tabs will help ensure that the turning ring moves freely while the screen stays in place. If the turning ring does not move freely, adjust the ring or the screen until it does. Once this is done, you will need to properly set the dome on the base. Notice that are screws to the walls of the dome. These screws will sit in slots in the top of the plastic turning ring strap. Proper seating of the screws in the turning ring strap will put the dome in gear with the turning ring assembly. This will allow the dome to rotate freely on the base, which will allow the turning ring to move, thus turning the egg. To ensure proper development of the chick, you must manually turn them or attach an automatic turner. Now that the incubator is fully assembled, it's time to attach the turner. On the base of the incubator, you will find two small holes. This is where the screws from the turner will sit. Make sure both screws from the turner are in their proper hole and that the incubator and turner are sitting level. Attach the pull rod hook over the incubator knob on the dome. Once the turner is installed, plug it in and push the button on top of the turner to ensure the unit is properly installed. Do not manually move the turner lever. This will cause damage to the turner. Once your turner is installed, the last thing to do is to fill the water fountain and set it in place. Before placing your eggs in the unit, make sure your temperature and humidity have been regulated. It is recommended to do this at least 24 hours before you would like to set the eggs in place. We hope you have a positive experience with the Chick Embryology Unit. If you have any questions or need further resources, please feel free to contact us at the K-State Research and Extension Office in Douglas County or visit us on the web. Have a happy journey!